some questions based on water stress and osmotic adjustment. So, changing in Ca2 plus concentration can initiate various responses in plants. Which one of the following responses is not known to be initiated by calcium concentration? So, closure of stomata is initiated by calcium concentration. Yes. Reorientation of the growth in pollen tubes. This calcium also helps in the reorientation of the growth in pollen tubes. Okay. Remember, it also helps in the reorientation of growth in pollen tubes. Thickening of cell walls, yes, it is a essential component of the cell wall also. Lateral root formation, they do not help in any lateral root formation. So, this is the answer. Next, following are some statements related to osmotic stress in plants. The accumulation of ions during osmotic adjustment is predominantly restricted to vacuoles, yes. In order to maintain the water potential equilibrium within the cell, other solutes are called compatible solutes or compatible osmolites accumulate in the cytoplasm, yes. The prolines and sorbitol, mannitol, all these accumulate, lysine, betaine, they accumulate, which are the osmolites. So, this is also correct. Galactose is one of the compatible osmolites, we will come to it. There are mainly four groups of molecules that frequently serve as compatible solutes, okay. So, galactose is one of the compatible osmolite. We found that there was four groups of poly, uh, four groups of molecules that are used as compatible solutes. So, this is also correct. Galactose is one of the compatible osmolite. We did not find that galactose is acting as an osmolite. Okay. So, what are the four groups here? Of compatible solutes include number one it includes amino acid example of which is proline okay second it includes so first group is amino acid which includes glycine betaine second it includes quaternary ammonium compounds quaternary ammonium compounds which includes glycine butane which includes glycine butane third it includes alcohols sugar alcohols which includes sorbitol and mannitol sorbitol and mannitol Fourth, it includes sulfonium compounds, tertiary sulfonium compounds. Okay, so the question from sulfonium compounds comes rarely, but you have to remember that four groups of compatible solutes are example of which is 3 dimethyl. 3 dimethyl sulfonium propionate okay do not it's not required to remember the name of the last one but the first three are common but we need to know that there are four groups of compatible solutes okay so the galactose is the wrong one so a b and d are correct c is the correct answer Next question, which one of the following phytohormones is produced under water deficient conditions? We know that abscisic acid is the hormone. Next, following are certain statements related to the plants exposed to dehydration stress. When the water potential of the rhizosphere decreases due to water deficit, plants can continue to absorb water as long as plant water potential is lower than that of soil water. So, plant will continue to absorb water as long as the water potential of the plant is lower. Okay, so this is correct. The ratio of root to shoot growth increases. Yes, we studied this. 
plant cells tend to release solutes to lower the water potential during the period to lower the water potential during periods of osmotic stress so it's saying that plant cell tend to release the solute no they do not release the solute instead they synthesize the solute they synthesize the solutes named as compatible solutes. Okay, so C is the wrong one. Abscisic acid is synthesized at a higher rate when the leaves are dehydrated and more AB, AB accumulates in the leaf to apoplasm, yes, which is a stress hormone. So A, B, and D are the correct answers. C is wrong. For metabolic engineering in plants having improved tolerance to osmotic stress, mannitol is overproduced. So what is the role of this compatible solute which is mannitol? What is the role of it? It decreases the osmotic potential, sorry, it decreases the water potential. So when water potential is decreased, what will happen? It will allowing the more water to be taken in. Allowing more water to be taken in, to be taken in by the leaf. So they are lowering the water potential in plants. So A is the correct answer. Next. Many factors related to the role of abscisic acid in contributing to drought, cold and salt resistance in plant are listed below. The transcription factors DREV1 and DREV2 bind to cis-acting trans elements, cis-acting elements of the promoter ABA responsive genes. So it's saying that DREV1 and DREV2 binds to ABA responsive genes in an ABA dependent manner. Means ABA stimulates the transcription factor DREV1 and DREV2 which binds to ABA responsive genes. It is saying this in one. Now, ABA induces many genes such as LIA protein and RD29. Okay, we discussed about LIA protein. Yes, it is induced late embryogenesis abundant protein. This is induced in response to ABA. And RD29 is also a gene which is induced in response to ABA. Both of them helps in the stress tolerance. ABA responsive genes contain six nucleotide ABRE elements. Okay, we discussed that ABA responsive elements in short is said to be a ABRE is ABA responsive element. So this responsive elements contain six nucleotides. Just remember this concept. This is also correct. Nine nucleotide dehydration responsive genes are present in ABA responsive genes. So in ABA responsive genes, ABA RE is also present. Okay. ABA responsive genes contains AB RE also. It also contains DRE also. What is DRE? It is dehydration responsive elements. And these DRE are 9 nucleotides. And this ABRE are 6 nucleotides. Okay. And this A, DREV and REV1 and REV2 are transcription factors which are activated in response to ABA. This is also correct. Okay, so A, B, C, D all are correct. So A, B, C correct, A, C, D correct and B, C, D correct. So uh, in this paper, the one who have marked 1 or 2 or 3, whoever have marked among this 1, 2 and 3 have got the full marks. Okay. So look here. This ABA is activating RD29 also. Okay, so DREV1 is activating uh, is activated in response to cold also. It is activated in response to drought and salt stress also. Okay, DREV are the proteins which are activated in various stress responses. 
but in cold only drep 1 is activated and drep 2 is activated in broth and salt please remember this will come i'll teach you this in cold stress now this aba responsive gene this is a aba responsive gene which contain both dre and abre now in an aba dependent manner we see that bzip transcription factor is activated and drep transcription factor is activated drep will bind to dre and bzip will bind to abre both will helps in stress tolerance now see look here this aba responsive gene will activate a transcription factor which will activate ab responsive element now this part is less important now in heat stress also drep2 is activated in salinity stress also drep2 is activated in dehydration stress also drep2 is activated so drep2 is activated in various stress responses okay in cold stress remember specifically drep1 is activated so drep1 is activated specifically in cold stress so all together they help in the activation of stress responsive genes and helps in stress responsive and tolerance now this is a repeat one you can practice this on your own now following are certain statements regarding seed developments in plants during the final phase of development embryos of orthodox seeds become tolerant to desiccation dehydrate and lose up to 90% of water yes orthodox seeds uh, re remain in the dormant condition okay orthodox seeds they lose 90% of the water they remain they can able to survive the environmental condition by losing large amount of water the dormant seeds will germinate upon rehydration while quiescent seeds require additional treatment of signal for germination now this is wrong we discussed that there are two terms dormancy dormant seeds and quiescent seeds now quiescent seeds can germinate on rehydration but dormant seeds cannot so upon rehydration dormant seed will not germinate they require an additional treatment for the germination additional treatment or signal for germination but quiescent seed will germinate so this is wrong precocious germination is germination of seeds without passing through normal quiescent and the dormant stage so yes is a premature germination so this is correct abscisic acid is known to inhibit precocious germination this is also correct so q is the wrong one so p r s are correct so in this question the b is the wrong one p q r are correct so how to find the correct answer see wherever q is present it will become wrong so rest three are correct okay so here i complete with a discussion of water stress and the questions of that so if you have further have any questions you can post it and you can ask me thank you